Now in order to service our 6260, the first thing that we need to do is to remove the faceplate. On the left hand side of the faceplate you see that there is a small white cap that we must use a small flat head screwdriver or your fingernail to remove. Once you have removed that, use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screw on the inside. Once you have removed the screw, grab the faceplate, start to pull towards you and away from the machine so the clips don't break. Now we have to remove the handle to be able to take off the top cover. On the left hand side there are two Phillips head screws that hold the handle to the left side of the machine. These screws need to be removed completely. Once you have removed the second screw, you're going to start to lift up on the left side of the handle in a little bracket, push up, and you're going to push the handle to the right, and it will come off of the machine. Now to remove the top cover, we need to lift up the lid, and there is one large screw that is in the gully where we put our spool of thread. This screw needs to be removed all the way. To the left of the pressure dial there is a small Phillips head screw and that needs to be removed as well. Now that you have removed both screws, you can start to gently lift up on the top cover and it will separate from the machine.